Looking for fast, cheap, and reliable coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuckReserve.com. Head over to MuckReserve.com. They're awesome to work with. They got super cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure you use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. Hello, everybody. It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the big mark crash that is going to be going down at Madden within the next week or so. Now, guys, this is a huge month. Like I said, many people think January is just the month after December that kind of everything dies down at Madden, but that's actually false. January might be the biggest month of Madden. There's some of the most exciting stuff that does go down this month, but this is the time where... The difference is with content is that in the other months we get big promos like you know Halloween, Thanksgiving, but those are just increasing overalls. This is the month where we start getting like certain D hearts that could be end game, and that is when end game cards essentially kill the market because let's say there's like you know there's ten quarterbacks in the game that are usable, but then they drop a 99 overall a powered up 98 to so 99 overall. It's an end game quarterback that can do everything better than the other ones can do. All those quarterbacks that drop in value because you can now get a 99. So essentially, as every position gets 99 overall, we are going to be seeing drops in value. But moving on from that, I'm going to go over what I expect to become pretty soon. Should be selling the team, kind of going over the stats and everything right now. But before we get into the video, if you are into the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn the noti bell, and of course, comment down below. Like the video. And if you guys do need coins, pick up, uh, you know, take a for the mark, get crash, and pick up some players. Head over to my reserve down below. Use code Poodle for 30% off your order. Now, moving on from that, let's go check out the market and see what the kind of state is at right now. And I'm going to go over what's going to kill it, kind of what to expect. Now, let's go to the highest overalls, of course, because that's what we're really worrying with at this point in the year uh, in terms of market. So, we see this, the 50. We have some 50 players right now. We have some legends. We have some Zero Chill players. Now, Zero Chill is a good example of what could, what's going to happen. Now, Zero Chill has the best cards right now, right? Just like last year, no, Ghost of the Mad, I should say. Just like last year, they were the best. January began and started to just completely kill every card. So right now, right, Tony Gonzalez is 400k because he's the best head end. Raul Woodson's around 465 because he's one of the best cornerbacks. Um, um, Junior Seau, over 600k. We got Jerry Rice. We got Heinz Ward. And we got Bo Jackson. Now, all these cards are going to drastically fall pretty soon. Now, for the month of January, if you watched any of the videos I recently just made, we have next, the playoff promo. We have Team of the Week, like four of them, four weeks to fill in, which I don't think will change much. I think it's more than going to be other ones. We got Team of the Year. We got the Super Bowl promo. And shortly after, we have the Award promo. Yeah, that all up. We have four to five of the biggest promos all year. The playoff promo is going to introduce around 97 overalls. You know, going to stay in line. So, 96, 97. So, that's not going to kill this too much. And the playoff promo won't bring these cards down too much yet, yet. Unless they end up doing 98 overall masters. But for the time being, if they keep them at 95, 96, and 97s, you'll see no problems in terms of the market. But they are going to you know, saturate the market, so that's going to still affect these cards. Of course, let's say we get a uh, playoff tight end, or we get a playoff running back, or we get a playoff cornerback, and they're just as good like a playoff Jalen Ramsey that may be just as good as Rob Woodson. Then they come down because, of course, there's multiple options. It's not just like one straight hold on the market. But then... We have shortly after that, we have the Team of the Week one. Like I said, I don't think I'll do anything because they're delayed weeks. But then we have um, Team of the Year. Now, Team of the Year is going to be pretty much the biggest thing that's going to kill the market to start. So Team of the Year, they do drop 96, they do drop 97. But I think this year it could be a 98 in there. So if they drop 97 top tier ones, right? So as an example, last year we had Russell Wilson and Aaron Donald. If they drop Russell Wilson or let's say... They drop some crazy, like, uh, you know, I don't know who they drop at quarterback specifically this year. It's a weird year. Whatever quarterback they drop will kill the value of the current top quarterback. Now, if we go check who the current top quarterback is, an example will be like a Michael Vick. So, let's say Michael Vick and Patrick Mahomes. So, Michael Vick's 476K. He's not a horrible price, to be honest, and Rich Gannon's 600K. If you guys think these are the two best, that's fine. But once they drop that team of the year quarterback, they both might be killed. It depends on who they drop, though. Like, if it's a Russell Wilson that gets some, that gets great speed and great accuracy, maybe if it ends up being, you know, it can't be Mahomes, obviously. So I really don't know what route they're going to go here. But that could kill it. And then the running back, I don't think will actually end up hurting because modern-day running backs seem to really struggle to get the stats that legend running backs seem to get. But you guys get the point. So pretty much if we do end up getting... The team of the year promo if they're 97s and 98s versus 96s the market's going to be completely crashed because essentially we're getting all better cards than are currently available if we get 97s and 98s 
and uh, what's it called? Like I said, that would be the one. If we get 96, 97s, and 97s will crash their positions, but the 96s will not. So pretty much, it looks like I said, if they drop a tight end and a cornerback as the 97s of our team of the year promo, and the rest are all 96s, then only those positions will crash a little bit if the cards are good. And everything else will be saved because it's pretty much how that works. And then shortly after that, we have the Super Bowl promo. The Super Bowl promo, same thing. Could introduce some 97 to 98 overall cards as well. Now, the Super Bowl promo typically drops a few crazy cards. So, similar similar situation. What, what I would get at pretty much here, if you have a card that's very overpriced, and let's say you're not playing too much Weekend League right now, right? Let's say you have Bo Jackson, and you're not playing too much Weekend League. I personally recommend you sell them, because these cards are not going to hold value for a crazy amount of time. Uh, Barry Sanders at 366. I mean, he's not, Barry Sanders isn't a horrible card. The only issue is that you have to power him up like three times. But you had to, uh, essentially, with all the pricing that you have to do. But now that you can do a training power pass option, if they, if they did add that already, which I don't think they I don't know if they did, but Creel said they were going to. Once they add that, Barry's a better option. But Bo Jackson is 879k. I think that's a huge sell if you're not playing. If you're competitively playing weekly, weekly and you need to be getting your wins and you're playing and you're finishing high and you're making coins, it's fine. But if you just have them there, just to have them thinking that you're going to be playing soon, sell them. Because in the next two to three weeks, we're going to get better. We're, we're going to get a running back that competes, right? That's how it always is. I don't think Team of the Year will give us that running back because I really don't know who they can give. They give us Chubb. Chubb probably ends up with like a 93 speed. Going to be slower than Bo. But the Super Promo could give us like some, some crazy some crazy running back or the, uh, you know, the honor ceremony, which I don't think, again, we'll get one there. But there is potential for a running back, you know, or legends or something. You know, there's always potential to get something there. So I don't think that Bo is going to, you know, completely drop to like 300k, but he could drop to 6 or 5. Not to mention that he's just completely overpriced right now. Running back in general, I mean, 900k was like even a little bit more than his original Bo Jackson card run for. And then that goes for a few other guys as well. Bo Jackson isn't the only one. Wide receivers... You know, those are going up there a bit. Kevin Mawai is pretty decent price. I mean, you'll know. If you see 96 overalls in the 200K range, they're not bad buys. You don't have to really sell them. But you see some of these, like, again, if a 96 overall can be, like, 430 and 280 and 330, but some of them could be 800K, clue this is a gap, right? Lawrence Taylor is one of those guys where I don't think you have to sell him. I think he's, like, if it's an endgame card, like a card they're going to have all year, you can pretty much hold on to it, like Lawrence Taylor. Lawrence Taylor, again, you could wait. You, if you sell them off, you could buy them back. But the only way you want to do that is if you happen to be doing nothing right now. Like I said, you're not playing Weekend League. He's just sitting there fully powered up. Currently using him 599k for an end game card that you're pretty much going to have the whole year. And that's crazy powered up and chemmed up you can keep. But if you're just rocking with him right now, again, if you do just sell him off now at 600k and then you hold on to him for like a week or two and you wait for some stuff to drop, you will come down just because of how the market's going to saturate. But like I said, if you're using him, don't do that. Uh, Randy won't drop too much. Like I said, he might drop to like 300, 200k in the next few weeks. Again, you could sell him, but if you're using him, it just doesn't make sense. Overall, it's definitely a selling point of uh, the market right now, just in general. Because everything is decently high, considering the fact that we're about to get a big stuff. So like I said, playoffs playoffs will saturate and drop maybe like 5 to 10% of the value. Team of the year will set will really saturate, and depending on the overalls, crash or just you know drop another percent. So... Like I said, if they get 98 to 97 overalls, it's going to drop the market a lot. 96 to 97s, it's going to oversaturate and drop another like 15 to 20% after that. Now, when we get Super Bowl promo, again, if they if they hit 98 overalls in that one, we get some crazy Super Bowl masters, Steve Young or something, that could drop the market another 15 to 20. And at that point, guys, we're almost at 50% down. So at that point, the market, like, you know, boost you buried for like 200K or 180, you'll see Randy for 280, you know, like that. We're going to be at that point. And then we have the the MVP ceremony. So again, like you know, the the MVP, defensive player of the year, offensive player of the year, comeback player of the year, rookie of rookie of the year, defensive rookie of the year, and so on and so forth. So if those players are 98s, 99s again, 97s, 96s, that again could kill it, depending on the player, right? Sometimes we get players like Stephon Gilmore, and Michael Thomas, who Madden makes them slow. So even though they got a high overall car, they're gonna be slow. But we could get a player that's gonna be fast, right? Like or, or Justin Herbert could win the uh, offensive rookie of the year. With the 99 throw power and all threshold quarterback, and that could be really good. It really just depends. And then, of course, following shortly after that, Ultimate Legends and a few other things don't start too far after that. So, you know, things are going to start crashing. And this, like, we get to a point where our cards really just don't hold crazy value anymore because there's just so many, right? Because once, once we hit the end game threshold, like I said, once there's cards that are 99, that's all you care about because, like, why care about any other cards? So, we're getting near there. So, all these cards that hold value 
won't hold value too much after this month. So I'm just saying, like, again, even if it's, like, near the end of the month, you see that range is still, like, 380 or, like, you know, 350, and you just know a new wide receiver is coming. Maybe it's time to just drop them off, wait a week, wait a few days, and when something else drops, pick them up for less. And you could really make a lot of coins that way because think about it. If you have a team that's worth a million coins, or let's say two million coins, and you sell them back for two million coins right now, and then they drop off, like, 40% in the next two weeks, and then you rebuy them back, you're now left with about, you know, you've now made what? You bought back your team for essentially like 800k to 1.2 million somewhere in there, depending. See, because it's a 50 if it's a 50 percent drop, you got you sold them, you bought them back for one mil. It's 40 percent drop, you bought them back for 1.2 mil. If it's a 60 percent drop, you got them back for 800k. So you can get your team for essentially half half back, and then your stores now you have a million coins, 800k sitting there with your team back, and that's kind of the beauty of it. Like I said, there's times where like. You may be going on vacation, or you may just not be home, or you may not be playing, busy week at school, whatever it is, and you just leave a team there. That's the worst thing you can do in Madden is leave a team there if you're not actively using them. Sometimes it's best to just move them for the time being until you're ready again. But that's about it for the video. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, like the video, comment down below. Use code Poodle for 30% off. If you need coins, uh, take advantage of the, you know, what the market's going to do this month. That's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out.